Okay, question number six, part F of January 2019 S1. In this question, we're asked to calculate the equation of the line of regression of y on x for these 15 students, giving your answer in the form y equals a plus bx. So let's go to the formula sheet, which helps a lot in these type of questions. Uh, we're told in the formula sheet the following, that the least squares regression line on of y on x and that's exactly what we need here because our y is corresponding to the y axis of our plot and our x corresponds to our x axis okay so it's exactly as it's needed is so is equal to y is equal to a plus bx okay so they've told us that the a part is equal to y bar minus b times x bar all right and they also told us about b. If you go back to here, we'll see that b is equal to how x varies with y divided by how x varies with x. Okay, so let's go back here and paste that there. All right, so we know that b is equal to this. So what we can do is we can find out what b is and then use that b value to find what a is and then write it in this equation. Okay, so basically, these values are what we found earlier in the question, okay, which is um, 1, 5. In fact, they told us these values here, if you can see. They've told you that S, X, X, okay, is, uh, X, X, Y is what we found earlier, which we had to show earlier, which is one um, one one six nine point eight. okay. They actually told us it there. We had to show that, 1169.8. So you have 1169.8, where is it? 1169.8. And we've got to oops. We've got to divide that by SXX, which is 956.6. Divided by 9965, nine, sorry, 0. 0.6. And that tells us the value of B. Okay, um, so I'm going to leave it in that form actually for now so we have more accurate answers. So A is equal to Y bar minus B times X bar. Now Y bar we found earlier for these 15 values. So th those were the new values of X and Y which we found in the earlier part of the question over here. I'll take those two values and we've got here these two values. Let me just take them both together. Okay, I'll take them both into the what we need. Okay, so we have now um, x bar and y bar we know. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Um, okay, so here we have x bar and y bar. All right, so we know that a is equal to y bar, which is 27.5. minus b which is 11699.8 over 965.6 times x bar which is 35.6 okay so we can find what a is okay so that's going to be our a value 2727.5 minus 1169.8 over 965.6 and that's multiplied by 35.6 okay that gives us the value of a which is minus 15.628 minus 15.628 that's our a value okay and um, I'll save that value because I need it to find what uh, no that's that's fine that's our a value Okay, so we can write y equals minus 15.6 plus b, which is this. Okay, I can write that to 3SF now. Let's take that and write it to 3SF. Uh, 1169.8 um, over 965.6. Okay, that gives you plus 1.211. 1.2, 1 1.21, write it to 3SF, that's fine, times um, x. Okay, so that is the least square regression line of B and X. Let me just 
tidy it up a bit. It's a bit messy because my computer needs a restart, I think. So you got plus, uh, what was it? What was my answer there? We got it in the calculator here. It was 1.21, 3SF. 1.21. That was going to be 1.211. Continue on like that. Okay, so there we have our least squares regression line of on y, of y on x. So that's part f of this question answered. Okay, part g says the product moment correlation coefficient between x and y for all 16 students is 0 0.746. Explain how your calculation in part e supports Chetner's decision to omit the point 0.380 before calculating the equation of the linear of the linear regression line okay that's uh, you can see that the the value calculation in part e uh, our value which was only for the 15 students omitting the that score was 0 0.953 okay so you can say that the value of r okay the value of r okay with 15 students with 15 students Okay, R equals 0 0.953. With the 16 students, R was 0 0.746. So it, it shows a much stronger positive correlation. Positive Correlation, sorry, my pen's messing up again. Correlation. Okay, so it was, uh, it was a good idea for her to admit it because it shows a much stronger positive correlation. Okay, omitting that, omitting the, the value 38.0 caused your R value to be much closer to 1. Okay, R is closer to 1. R is closer to 1. Sorry about this bad writing. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so R is closer to the 1. So that means, basically, it means that the points will lie much closer to the straight line. Okay, so the, R, the value of R being closer to 1 means the points are closer to a straight line. You can say they, lo they lie closer, closer to a straight line. Closer to, sorry about this, a straight line. A straight line. Okay. Now, it says estimate the mark in the second paper for a student who scored 38 marks in the first paper. So what we need to do is use our regression line equation, okay, which is this, which I can just take along to the other page. Okay. And I can use it to do the estimation. So if I just paste this here. Okay. So basically you want to find what what y was when x is 38. So you have minus 15.6 plus 1.21 times 38. Okay, when x is 38. Let me just make that neater. So sometimes my pen does this. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. That's supposed to be um, 38. Okay. So let's see what exists. Calculator is over here, so you have, let's use this value, times 38 equals, and take away 15.6. Uh, that's not an exact value, but no problem. So that's 30.436, 30.436, so you can say 30.4. So. Okay, estimated, I'll try and write, estimated, oops, 
estimated mark and paper two is 30.4 writing it to 3 SF okay and there we have our answer and the paper finished